every villain, there will always be a couple of brave detectives. And what is the most important thing in any detective story? That's right, guess who did it before the detectives do? Let's go! It's usually calm in the detective agency, Lunar Select. I'm bored! Will I ever hear any sounds in this office other than my partner snoring? A phone call? Well, finally! What? Kidnapped cookies? Don't eat the evidence! We'll be there in a couple of minutes! Mmm! I love choco pie! Come here, my sweet little treat! Who would steal a whole box of cookies? There's not a single lead in this case! Although… Wait! Look! A bitten cookie! Wow! The thief has a strong bite! How does that help us? One partner puts on a glove and collects culinary uh -huh. evidence. It seems like she has an idea. Take a box of chocolate cookies. Cut a slot on the side with a box cutter. Now you need a bag of glitter. Place the bag in the slot. Leave the zip pack clasp outside. Criminals always return to the crime scene. We just have to wait. See? I told you! The sparkly trace leads us to the sofa! Teddy! So you were the thief? We are so disappointed oh. in you! Or maybe it's just a hiding place and the real criminal is still walking free! The Lunar Select Agency specializes in crimes of various complexity. Here it is, the investigation of the century! Before going to bed, the agency's client sets the alarm clock for 7 a.m. But something terrible happened! An intruder broke into the house at night and set the alarm to 9 a.m. What time did you say it was? Of course! I'm late for the meeting with my investor! What is wrong with my alarm clock? Maybe my competitors are trying to sabotage me? Don't worry, the detectives will figure it out. And it seems they already have one idea. Glow in the dark paint and a brush will help us find the villain. Turn the alarm clock over. Find two handles for moving the hands and setting the alarm. Mix the paint with hand lotion on a palette. The lotion will make sure the paint doesn't dry out. Apply the glowing lotion to the handles. The trap is ready! As soon as the perpetrator touches the alarm clock, his fingers will be covered with the evidence. And we will check the suspects with an ultraviolet nail light. Turn on the UV lamp. So, these hands did nothing. Everything here is clean too. But this is more interesting. Hey, I think we caught the intruder. Um, maybe you just shook someone's hand and he covered you with paint? How can you even eat when all this is going on? What happened? There is still so much evil in the world. And here is another challenge. We are on our way. Oh my, what is this mess? Is this a new kind of modern art? Scattered brushes, spilled water, drops of paint? Mmm, I can feel the notes of gouache. There is always a first detective aid kit available for cases like this one. Take a box from a videotape and silver paint. Paint the box. Collect a detective kit, a soft brush, powder for taking fingerprints, a small magnifying glass, a flashlight, and tape. Just in case, a rubber finger and candy. Don't ask why, it's classified. Tweezers and a glove. Attach a label. Top secret object. Make sure you don't tell anyone about it. And now you need a container from lip balm. Cover it with silver paint. Fasten a picture of a fingerprint with a drop of glue. Put matches in a glass container. Burn them all completely. Press with a fork to get powder. Pour the ashes into the container. Done! Use a makeup brush to collect the black powder. Powder the wall of the glass. I can see a print! Fasten a piece of tape to the glass. Take it off. Add the print to your database. Call the suspects for questioning. Aha! Someone will definitely crack! No, the yellow paint on the brush does not match the blue landscape. But this painting has all the evidence. We are detaining you until we can understand what happened. But I drew with my fingers. Why do I need brushes? 
Well, sorry, we were mistaken. Let's interrogate the second suspect. Psst, do you want to confess anything? Traditional interrogation methods aren't working? <gasps> what about the innovative tickle glove method? <laughs> Take a glove and some feathers. Attach the feathers to the fingertips. Use electrical tape. Attach the feathers to all the fingers except the thumb. The tool for tickle torture is ready. Ooh, I'm gonna tickle you. You'll tell me everything. <laughs> but my partner decided to play good cop and bad cop. Why did you spoil everything? He was about to confess. You have no idea where your socks keep going? It's weird. Almost like only one sock can survive at a time. Also, my dog is acting suspicious. Let's follow the puppy and solve this mysterious case. Detectives, follow the trail. And where does this trace lead? <gasps> a dog altar? We have never seen such a thing before. Somebody, please explain what this mystical ritual is and what god our dog worships. The king of dogs or the king of socks? Print a portrait of your dog on a color printer. Take black and white socks. Cut the socks into strips. Twist them. Fasten the sock rolls to the portrait. Use hot glue. Good doggy! Now glue on the eyes. And a pink tongue. And decorate the portrait with a bow and rhinestones. Done! My roommate's morning starts with a cup of coffee and fresh gossip. And it seems like nothing can ruin this peaceful time. Oh wow, what could have scared them that much? The professionals are taking this case. Mm. The detectives carefully study every grain of coffee. Mmm, Arabica. What if we look at the coffee blot through a double lens? Nothing. Let's use the method of deduction. What happened here? Oh, why did you sneak up on us like that? I think we found the key. Who came up with this joke? You will need a bicycle helmet. Hot glue the mask from saw to the helmet. Fasten a black wig. Do you want to play a game? And now you will need a piece of cardboard. Take a brush and black gouache. Cover the cardboard with a thick layer of gouache. Wait until the paint dries. Cut out letters from white paper. Make words out of them. The ID number, the date, the name of the police department. Attach pieces of masking tape with the date and the number of the detainee. Now you have a card for mugshots. Like any self-respecting detective, Lunar Select maintains a detective board. Attach the evidence to it. Who is this bear? Did he request the crime or commit the crime? Or is he just a teddy bear? There are more questions than answers. Next, let's go to the witnesses and everyone involved in the investigation. All of these cases seem to be connected to each other. What, and even the one with the socks? Yup, the sock one too. Let's connect everything. Sooner or later, we will find the answer. Everything points to the fact that she is the criminal after all. How did she fool everyone? We are about to make you talk. You will need a cardboard box. Paint it silver. Cut the bottom with a utility knife. Cover the plastic lid with paint. Hot glue it to the box. Use a black marker to apply a scale to the lock. Put all the documents on the case into the safe. You will definitely fall for this, you villain. That's right, the criminal would like to get rid of some of the evidence. And especially the fingerprints. And even better, to destroy all the files. Oops, why is this safe bottomless? Everybody freeze, police! And even though the guns are made out of plastic, no one has ever survived our mint spray. Take toothpaste and some water. Squeeze the toothpaste into a glass. Mix with a stick. Pour the mix into a spray bottle. Attach a label. 
face the spray. All right, I give up. I give up. Also, the handcuffs are stuck. It's okay. I don't need them. Well, let's take a photo. Not a selfie for your Instagram. You don't have to smile. Did you like our life hacks for detectives? Let us know in the comments which one was the funniest. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to watch more life hacks and detective sketches on Troom Troom Select.